My name is Eric Lapointe, and I run a, a distribution company, international TV distribution company called And Now Global. And I also do a podcast called Global Vid uh, Academy, which is, focuses on the international TV business. I'm originally from Montreal, and I've been living here in uh, the Vancouver area for about five years now. I live in White Rock, British Columbia. My parents uh, are both French Canadian. They, my dad, uh, my mom was a stay-at-home mom, but my dad was working at uh, Canadian Pacific. And so the reason I speak like this and I don't have a French Canadian hockey accent is that uh, when I was four years old, we ended up moving out to uh, Mississauga, Ontario, um, uh, back when. So he was working at uh, Canadian Pacific, or more specifically, Canadian National, Canadian Pacific CNCP, which was like a telecommunication company that was trying to compete against Bell Media back in the day, uh, very, very long time ago. When I was younger, I wanted to be a musician. There was a drum set in uh, my basement, and that was probably what... Uh, led me towards a career in entertainment for sure. Um, that drum set actually belonged to my brother-in-law, um, so my s sister's husband, and um, and he didn't need a place to store it. And as a kid, it was in the basement. It was there for me to use however I wanted. So actually, I wanted to be a musician. Uh, I wasn't a great musician, so I started getting passionate about behind the scenes and wanted to work in the music industry. And I actually did that for a good four or five years. I worked in, had my own record label in Montreal called Grenadine Records. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. Um, and then it just kind of, that's how I ended up getting into the entertainment business. Also worked at uh, Cirque du Soleil for nine years. I got my foot in the door with them because they were looking for somebody in the music industry, but I ended up leaving um, there uh, after working six years in the television sales department. And that's where the bug of uh, television sales really hit, uh, hit me to a, a great extent. And I fell in love with the industry even more than, than music and um, then ended up uh, getting hired by Just for Laughs in Montreal. So it's a little bit hard for me to do uh, show and tell when ultimately my job is international TV sales. Um, but what I can do is, uh, is give you my top tips on how to start a podcast. So number one is think about creating a really uh, a, a niche podcast with a niche topic in mind. Your first thought might be, hey, I, I want it as big of an audience as possible. But the thing is, is that the Joe Rogans of this world that have talk shows already exist and already have big fan bases. So the, it's much better to find a niche topic that isn't really being covered and something that you're really passionate about. Number two, invest in a uh, good microphone. In my first episodes, I was actually using the laptop audio for my recordings and it just didn't sound good. Tip number three would be to uh, prep in advance as much as possible. So I um, think about it as a, an a high school essay, you know, with those that opposite downward uh, triangle that starts with the introduction, then your three main topics uh, that's going to solidify your point and the subject of the episode, and then your conclusion at the very end. So that would be the easiest way. Um, and that would work well if you have a guest or if you're just doing a solo podcast or if you're just two people that are talking. You really want to prep that episode and make sure you know what you're going to be talking about and have an idea of the topics. I wouldn't think too much further than that. Um, you can have like some sample questions that you you might have that you might ask an interview a guest, but keep it fluid and focus on the three topics so that the conversation flows uh, as much as possible. Tip number five would be to find a distribution platform to get it out to all the podcatchers out there like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everything. And you don't need to do this one by one. You can find uh, a pod uh, podcasting distribution platform. There's a few, actually, I think there's one that's free, but you'll have to do some advertising in return. Um, but there's other ones that you are going to spend anywhere between $15 to $25 a month. So those are my quick tips on how to start a podcast show. There's even more advice available on YouTube, so check that out.